Let's draw the structure for methyl pentanoate. This is an ester. This 8 here tells us that we have a functional group of COO. When we draw this COO, we end up with carbon double bonding oxygen, which is this first CO right here, and carbon having a single bond with this second oxygen right here. Okay, so we have our functional group COO drawn in. Let's work on the parent chain. The parent chain is from the carboxylic acid. So this pent right here tells us that there are five carbons in the parent chain. Okay, so let's draw the parent chain. And a trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's number these carbons. And that carbon in the functional group is always the first carbon. This is our second carbon. Third carbon. Fourth carbon. And the fifth carbon. Okay, so let's work on the side chain now, which is methyl. They're from alcohol and they always attach on the oxygens. So we have a methyl, which is just CH3, only one carbon, and we're going to attach it with this oxygen right here. Okay, so since we're drawing a line structure, we really don't need to draw this carbon here. So we're going to get rid of the numbers and this carbon here. So this is the structure for methyl pentanoate. Remember, the side chain, which is from the alcohol, always attaches with the oxygen. And the parent chain, which is from the carboxylic acid, always attaches with the carbon in the functional group. Let's draw the structure for ethyl propanoate. This is an ester. An ester has two parts. One is from the carboxylic acid, which is the parent chain. The other is from the alcohol, which is the side chain. So this eight here tells us that this has a functional group of COO. And when we draw the COO, we end up with carbon having a double bond with oxygen which is this first CO right here, and carbon having a single bond with this oxygen right here. Okay, so we have the functional group drawn in. Let's work on the parent chain. This probe right here tells us that there are three carbons in the parent chain. Okay, so let's draw the parent chain. And a trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. And the parent chain always attaches with the carbon in the COO group. Okay, so let's do this. One, two. Okay, so let's number the carbons. The carbon in the parent chain is always the first carbon. Second carbon. Third carbon. Let's work on the side chain now. The side chain right here always attaches with the oxygen in the COO group, which is right here. And we have ethyl. So let's draw ethyl with this oxygen right here.
since we are drawing a line structure, we don't really need to draw out this carbon here. So let's get rid of this carbon and the numbers. So this is the structure for ethyl propanoate. The side chain always attaches with the oxygen in the functional group. The parent chain always attaches with the carbon in the functional group. Let's draw the structure for propyl butanoate. This is an ester. An ester has two parts. One is from the carboxylic acid, which is the parent chain, and the other is from the alcohol, which is the side chain. Now, this 8 here tells us that this is an ester. And this tells us that we have a functional group of COO present. When we draw this functional group, we end up with carbon double bonding oxygen this is this first carbon and oxygen right here carbon having a single bond with this second oxygen right here okay so now we have the functional group drawn in let's work on the parent chain so this butte here tells us that there are four carbons in the longest carbon chain, the parent chain. A trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three. Okay, so let's number the carbons. Remember, the carbon in the functional group is always the first carbon, the second carbon, the third carbon, and the fourth carbon. Okay, so we have the parent chain drawn in. Let's work on the side chain, which is propyl, meaning that we have three carbons in the side chain. Okay, so let's do this. Since we are drawing a line structure, we don't really need to draw out this carbon here. So let's get rid of this carbon and the numbers. So this is the structure for propyl butanoate. Remember, the side chain always attaches with this oxygen right here. And the parent chain always attaches with this carbon right here. Let's draw the structure for propyl hexanoate. This is an ester. An ester has two parts. One is the parent chain, which is from the carboxylic acid. The other is the side chain, which is from the alcohol. So this eight here, and the parent chain tells us that we have a functional group of COO. And when we draw the COO, we end up with carbon having a double bond with this oxygen right here. This is the first CO. And carbon having a single bond with this oxygen right here which is this second oxygen right here. Okay, so we have the functional group drawn in. Let's work on the parent chain. This hex right here tells us that there are six carbons in the longest carbon chain. And the parent chain always attaches with the carbon in the COO group. So right here. 
Okay, so let's draw the parent chain. And a trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's number these carbons. So the first carbon is always the carbon in the functional group, right here. This is our first carbon. Second carbon. Third carbon. Fourth carbon. Fifth carbon. And the sixth carbon right here. Okay, so let's work on the side chain, which is right here, propyl. This means we have three carbons in the side chain. And the side chain always attaches with the oxygen in the COO group, right here. Since we are drawing a line structure, we don't really need to draw this carbon right here. So let's get rid of this carbon and the numbers. So this is the structure for propyl hexanoate. Remember, the side chain always attaches with this oxygen right here. And the parent chain always attaches with this carbon right here. Let's draw the structure for butyl ethanoate. This is an ester. An ester has two parts. One is the parent chain, which is from the carboxylic acid, and the other is the side chain, which is from the alcohol. Now the parent chain here has eight at the end, which means that this is an ester, and we have a functional group of COO. Now, when we draw the COO, we end up with carbon having a double bond with this oxygen right here which is this first CO right here and carbon having a single bond with the second oxygen right here. Now we have the functional group drawn in let's work on the parent chain. This F right here tells us that there are two carbons in the parent chain. Now the first carbon is always the carbon that is in the functional group. So we're going to draw one more carbon because we need two carbons in total. Okay, so now we have the functional group and the parent chain drawn in. Let's work on the side chain. Side chain is butyl, which means that there are four carbons in the side chain. And the side chain always attaches with this oxygen right here. Okay, so let's draw the four carbons in the side chain and attach it with the oxygen. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's number these carbons. We have one, second carbon here, third carbon here, and the fourth carbon here. So this is the side chain. Since we are drawing a line structure, we don't really need to write out the C here for carbon. Okay, so let's get rid of the numbers and the C here. So this is the structure for butyl ethanoate. Remember, the side chain always attaches with the oxygen in the functional group. And the parent chain always attaches with the carbon in the functional group. Let's draw the structure for 2-methyl propyl ethanoate. This is an ester. An ester has two parts. One is the parent chain, which is from the carboxylic acid, and the other part is the side chain, which is from the alcohol. In the parent chain, we have an A here at the end. This eight tells us that this is an ester and that we have a presence of the functional group COO. 
carbon having a double bond with this oxygen right here, which is the first carbon and oxygen, and carbon having a single bond with this second oxygen right here. Okay, so we have the functional group drawn in. Let's work on the parent chain. So this eth here tells us that there are two carbons in the parent chain. Now the carbon in the functional group is always the first carbon. So we need two carbons in total, so we're just going to draw another carbon here. Okay, so now let's work on the side chain, which is 2-methyl-propyl. Now this propyl here tells us that there are three carbons in the side chain. And the side chain always attaches with the oxygen in the functional group. Okay, so let's draw the side chain with this oxygen right here. Okay, so let's number these carbons. So this is our first carbon here, second carbon here, and the third carbon. Okay, now we have a methyl, which is attached to this propyl here. And it is attached on the second carbon, which is right here. Okay, so let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach a methyl on the second carbon, on the side chain. Since we are drawing a line structure, we don't really need to draw out this carbon here. So let's get rid of this carbon and the number. So this is the structure for 2-methyl propyl ethanoate. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.